This video is about rip currents and why they're so dangerous. In North Carolina, if you look, this is a picture of a rip current. 80%, 80% of all ocean rescues at beaches nationwide are related to a rip current activity. It says uh, 100, up to 100 people drown each year in rip currents. They're considered and also nicknamed drowning machines. Why are they so dangerous? If you look at this picture of a rip current, you'll, what you'll notice is those dark lines. So here's the beach, and those dark lines are pushing water and sand back out into the ocean. If you try to fight that, you won't win. It will win, and you'll die of exhaustion and drown. So what you're supposed to do is just like this picture. You're being pushed out to sea, swim parallel to the beach, and you will eventually swim out of it and into that white water and then away from it to where you can get back into the beach and you don't fight the, uh, the, the powerful current. The average age of someone who is caught in a rip current is between 31 to 50, most of which are males. And the reason why is because typically uh, other swimmers, typically young children, get caught in the rip current. Uh, the father or a uh, male friend of the family tries to jump in the water and they die of exhaustion trying to save somebody else. Also, um, I, I've been told this age group is famous for uh, going out and ignoring the rip current thinking they can fight it. it. They're stronger than the rip current and then they die of exhaustion. So what are you looking for? It's described as look for these lines of dark muddy water in areas where waves don't break. So what you're looking for is this right here. And this. This is a great picture. And this. Those are rip currents in North Carolina. And they are very, very common and, the, and strongest in August and September, which is when a lot of people vacation to the beach. So here again, it says what to do. Make sure you don't swim alone. Stay calm. Do not fight the current. Swim parallel to the shore. If someone is swimming with you, encourage them to stay calm as well. Follow you swimming parallel to the, of the, to the shore. And if you can't escape it and you get tired, this is really, really important. Turn over on your back and float. You're in salt water. Salt water is very, very buoyant compared to fresh water. Float out of the current if you can before you decide to give up and go under. I hope this helps explain a rip current. I hope this helps save somebody's life. And I hope everyone is safe during this rip current season in uh, 2011.